So some good news on growth in the economy. Our data, or new data rather, is showing that it grew faster than expected toward the end of 2023. And it comes amid easing inflation and a resilient American consumer, despite many economists' predictions for a recession last year. Our business correspondent, Lessis Christophorus, digging into all the numbers. All right, let's break it down. I think we can safely say, Kira, that uh, the economy is out of the woods when it comes to a recession because it looks like the economy surged into the final months of 2023, growing much more rapidly than economists had expected. The economy grew 3.3 percent. Economists were looking at 2 percent. It's a solid number, but it is a little bit slower than what we saw in the third quarter when the economy grew at about a 5 percent clip. And it, once again, it was consumer spending that helped to fuel the economy as uh, we continue to spend despite higher interest rates and we are seeing inflation starting to cool so that could also uh, be helping things uh, overall though this number really defying expectations for a slowdown and uh, now instead of talking about a recession economists are saying you know when will the Fed start cutting interest rates some say it might come as early as their March meeting uh, others are saying we may see that happen at their May meeting so new home sales jumped, what, 8% in December? What does that tell us about the strength of our economy right now? Yeah, and more good news here for us, Kira. That 8% jump in new home sales for December, the strongest we've seen in about a year. And what helped that number along? Mortgage rates. They fell below 7% in the month of December. And we're seeing that instead of buying existing homes, uh, people are gravitating toward the new homes simply because there aren't a lot of those existing homes on the market right now. A lot of homeowners are holding on to those homes. They don't want to sell them because they have those attractive interest rates. So instead, builders are sort of benefiting from this and folks are snatching up uh, new homes. Uh, do want to mention the median new home price? Still really high, $413,200. The good news, I guess, is that uh, it was uh, down about 14% from a year ago. So again, that new home price, $413,200. That's the median, uh, down nearly 14% from a year ago. Many economists believe that we're going to see home sales uh, continue to be higher this year, particularly new home sales, if we see those mortgage rates uh, trending lower. Kira? Okay. We'll track it, Alexis. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.